Hello viewers, this is Dr. Dhanesh Shekhar in SS Child Care Channel. Today we are watching about millets. Now the question comes to why millets? When I launched Ogmo Junior on our clinic channel, everyone was asking me when to give millets, how to give millets. Now I've already said when you start giving food to children, it's very important to start after six months of age and up to one year, no salt, no sugar, no cow's milk and no biscuits. It's extremely important to understand this has got health benefits on the long run for the next 20 to 30 years at least. Now coming to the main topic of discussion at six months, what food do we start? I'll give you very short bullet points. You can give them rice to start with, which is the most easiest to digest and the hypoallergenic food as well. Next will be dal, then followed by water-based vegetables. Then comes your basically fruits and fruits will be apple and banana. And then comes sprouts and finally you have your tubers tubers is basically potatoes sweet potatoes and baby potatoes that comes the six months now coming to seventh month so from six you can start millets include them at seven months and whichever part of the world you're watching from the millets actually are quite variable we don't get the same millets everywhere but in south india the most important millets are what we are going to discuss about today but generally speaking millets if you live in china we get different millets in the us is different millets and so does it happens in the south of india as well so the composition of millets are extremely important because they contain both macronutrients and micronutrients now macronutrients basically are your fiber protein carbohydrates and fat and micronutrients are basically your iron, zinc, selenium, aluminium and the contents thereof which actually enhance your neurological function and also ensures that your immunity is done very good. Now how do you actually incorporate millets into a child's diet is basically you mix them with carbohydrates. So you can say for example if you're going to make dosa, chapati or roti, you can actually add millets to the flour that you're using so that basically enhances the taste and sometimes it even masks the taste of the millets so the child is able to take it easily. So these millets when you start them very early on, say you start them at the beginning of 5th month or 6th month, have a tendency to cause constipation. And that's the reason why I don't advise to start millets very early on. But when you come to the later part of life, you understand that millets can be given in other forms too. So you can make millet breads, you can make millet uh, basically milkshake, you can make millets which basically can be encompassed into your normal diet in different forms as well, including cereals, chapatis, rotis, puris and whatever. So if you decide to give millets, it's extremely important that you start them at an appropriate time and one of the choice of millets I've already said is Ogmo Junior which is what I actually support very much and this is a creative product and the brainchild behind that has been me as well so it's completely important to understand it is recommended by a pediatrician so please do try and understand the incorporate millets and one last thing to say about millets with regards to our farmers is that our millets are basically very very important to maintain the integrity and the fertility of the soil because that is something that is used in the rotation of crops during the harvest period so that when the next crop comes in the the, the main fertility of the soil is kept intact thank you for watching and keep watching and keep subscribing and write your comments and we will be coming back with another video very soon which will be of course interesting and with scientific facts as well thank you very much